I know it's been a while, but welcome back to another episode of Neighborhood Community <laughs> Shoutouts! I almost forgot what I was doing! <laughs> ah, it's been so long! We're going to do part of them out here on the beautiful trail that we're hiking on right now. <laughs> Try and keep the camera still, Crystal. I'm trying. Coco's <laughs> pulling me. And um, then we'll do more of them when we get home. So let's get started. Jacob Talbot. Welcome to the neighborhood. Megan and Jess. Welcome to the neighborhood. Big Lou, welcome to the neighborhood. Tracy Quick, welcome back girl, we missed you. Haven't seen a lot of comments from you lately. Hope all is going well. Uh, Kawaii Kitty, welcome to the neighborhood. Again, you guys all know if I say it wrong, just correct me and I'll fix it next week. This is Ryder, welcome back. YouTube unsubscribed her and or him. Not sure if it's a him or her, but welcome back. Guys, make sure if YouTube unsubscribes you, go back and resubscribe because YouTube has a bad habit of doing that. Jason the YouTuber, welcome to the neighborhood. The Yuckmouth family, welcome to the neighborhood. It's all gravy. They've been with us for a while, but they changed the name. So welcome to the neighborhood under your new name. <laughs> Elizabeth Childs, welcome to the neighborhood. Roving Gnome Mobile Zoo, same thing. Been with us for a while, changed their name. Welcome to the neighborhood. Carl Burke, welcome to the neighborhood. Future our Father Nature 710. Welcome to the neighborhood. There's a lot of nature out here. Tina Wood. Welcome to the neighborhood. And I want to do a special shout out to Bambi S. Bambi S has been with us since the very beginning. She has always been there for the neighbors and for the entire neighborhood community. A lot of you may have had comments on some of your comments from Bambi. Bambi is a wonderful lady and we love her dearly. And right now, we don't know the details. I just got a message from her this morning that her and her son are in the hospital. I don't know all the details, but please, please, please keep Bambi and her son in your thoughts and prayers as we are doing so as well. Um, Michelle Jones, her mother's ankle surgery went well, but she has fallen and broken her wrist. She just had surgery on her wrist as well, all went well. I think we have found somebody else who needs to be in a bubble. Yep, I have another bubble, bubble partner. Bubble buddy? Bubble buddy, I have another bubble buddy. <laughs> Stephanie James Keenan. I've been speaking with Stephanie about methadone, which is one of the pain medications that my dad may be put on further as his disease progresses. And she's been on methadone uh, for four years. She's been, was only planning on being on it for six months. She's coming down off of it. She goes down five milligrams every two to four weeks and it's very painful withdrawals coming down off of methadone because it's such a strong pain medication. Um, so she went from 20 milligrams in a few months and is down to 10 milligrams right now. And she's very nervous to go even lower, but she's doing wonderful with it. And if we can all keep her in our thoughts and prayers for an easy transition for her to completely get off of it, that would be fantastic. So Stephanie, you are in our thoughts and prayers and I'm sure the community is right there with you and supporting you and you are strong and you can do this. Thumbs up to you. Jerry Colburn just got home from the hospital after eight days, had pneumonia and an infection. Thoughts and prayers go out to you, Jerry. You know, 
you're, you're always getting sick, girl. We got to keep you healthy. So thoughts and prayers for you to stay healthy. Tanya Hemmer, her father has been really sick lately. Thought they were going to lose him. But lots of trips back and forth to the hospital. He is doing okay, and now he is in rehab. So keep him in your thoughts and prayers. And Kyle Mulenbein, mm -hmm. sorry Kyle, I can never get your name. Uh, his friend's funeral went really well. He sang Amazing Grace at it. I would love to hear you sing Amazing Grace, Kyle. Um, he's still having a rough time after the loss of his best friend, so continued thoughts and prayers go out to you, Kyle, and we are always here for you if you need to talk. So, thoughts and prayers for Kyle. Um, we also had many, many, many April birthdays. Of course, not only Fred, the lone wolf, my father, was on the 18th, but we also had Kevin's mother, Mom McLean's birthday in April. Kevin's brother's Ed birthday was in April. Um, my nephew Logan's birthday. My niece Kaylin's birthday. Trans Am Gurley, Tanya Hemmer, Tr Trisha Weiss, Margatet Clevenger's daughter's birthday was in April. Terry Johnson's Aunt Sue and her granddaughter's birthday was in April. And I'm sure there's many others out there that had April's birthdays. So happy birthday to everybody that had an April birthday this month. Sorry we have fallen so behind on shout outs. I'm hiking right now. When I get back and do some more comments, if there's anything to add to these shout outs, I will do so. Otherwise, Kevin, take it away. Okay, so before I get to the question, I want to uh, ask for some thoughts and prayers for Elijah from uh, Mom's Blog 80. And I want to thank whoever it was that gave us $400 back on April 6th. I did actually just found it. I, was, I don't look on uh, our uh, uh, income page very often because we don't usually get any. So thank you very much, whoever did that. We really appreciate it. It's going to come in very handy right now. So, here's the question. Um, weeks ago, the question I asked was, in the movie The Grudge, the American version, or the Ch uh, Japanese version, uh, but the 2004 American version with Sarah Michelle Gellar, uh, they had this little popping sound that uh, would show up when the, the girls crawling all over the place, and uh, it was a little unnerving. This was cool about the movie. How was that, uh, how, how did they get that popping sound? And it was actually done with a, uh, a comb, a hair comb. Just popped it in front of a, a microphone. And those who got that correct was Terry Johnson, Tanya Longley, and Ubis92882. So, today's question is kind of an interesting one. Um, 1999, a movie called The Blair Witch Project, which I know everybody knows about. Either you hate it or you love it. Um, but it, it's in the Guinness Book of World Records. Why? There's your question. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We would not be here today if it weren't for all of you. We love you all so very, very much. Please go by and check out all our other stuff. Thumbs up, and we will see you next week on another episode of Neighborhood Community Shoutouts.